UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavigne. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Diesel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. into these big leg kicks. Let your hands 
Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that little leg kick, you start to affect the boot. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of the opponent. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big punch from the clinch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That was a nice strike. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. 20 seconds to go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Another to take advantage. Nicely done. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, right the I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands in the perfect spot. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Oh! Oh, diving punch lands. Come on, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than- Now the guy's got armbar, he's attacking it on him. He's attacking armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight.
Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. You're going the winner by tap out, Diesel! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission, and they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back,